with the urgent need to fix the appalling health conditions of hospitals, not excluding the welfare of health workers. The management of Mlago Hospital has constructed over 110 self-contained housing units for its health workers. 110, and we have also started construction of another 150, which are going to be on the opposite, opposite those ones. That one is also already in plan. We have already awarded a contract. Maybe in the next two, two years, we should be having another 150 uh, also being occupied by our health work. The executive director says that the plan is to accommodate health workers to enable them to concentrate while on duty. Free of charge, no, no, no payment. And uh, even the ones we are going to build, also, or which we have started building, are for free of charge. No payment at all, but they should pay for their own water and their own electricity because we don't know how much actually people use for their water and for their electricity needs. The estimated cost of the first phase of the 110 housing unit is estimated at 21 billion shillings funded by the government of Uganda. And the 150 units are to cost 31 billion shillings. Our main plan is we want to have at least a minimum of um, uh, 2,000 housing units because the establishment of Mulago Hospital is 3,075 health workers. And yet there are also other health workers who work with us who are not on establishment. For example, we have those who are doing postgraduate uh, courses in relevant, in the relevant clinical disciplines. Uh, when we, we build 2,000 housing units, it means we have come almost halfway, but slightly below halfway of our, our total requirement. Dr. Biaruhanga notes that they used random selection of the health workers to occupy the units, but with special interests. The other criteria is that there are people who work in emergency areas. Emergency areas is very, very, very important, such as casualty, uh, you have a acute care unit, and those who are also working in labor suit in the women's hospital, they are all, uh, they are all occupying that place. So you are working in an emergency, emergency unit, and you have been here for some time, you should be considered first. Now, as to the... It should be noted that Mulago National Referral Hospital Housing Initiative started in 2014. Zahara Abigaba, UBC.